This is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 5.30. Coverage you can count on. It's a moment family members of this 14-year-old boy have been calling for since his tragic death. The process of taking down the iDrive attraction he fell from has finally started. The reaction from his mother next at 5.30. Sky Witness 9 flew over the Orlando free fall ride today. Good evening, I'm Darlene Jones. I'm Martha Sigalski. Tyree Sampson fell from this ride while on spring break in March of last year. Channel 9's Sabrina Majore is live by that ride. And Sabrina, the family says they're relieved this process has begun. Martha, attorney for Samson's mother told us this has been a long time coming. If you take a look behind me, you can see that we saw workers on the top side of this right, ride here. We also saw this new tarp put up today, and we know that there's a process that's going to be sped up soon as a crane is being brought here next week to speed up the whole process of taking the ride down. The workers you see moving around here are preparing for what the Slingshot Group says will be a multi-step process as they dismantled this ride before the one-year anniversary of Tyree Sampson's death. We are really pleased to hear that the ride is finally being taken down. Attorneys representing Tyree Sampson's mother say this is something they've long fought for. The calls to take down this ride began just days after 14-year-old Tyree Sampson fell 430 feet from the drop tower last March. You know, it's taken us almost an entire year to get to this point. In the months after Tyree's death, the state opened an investigation into what happened. They officially blamed the ride's owner and operator, Orlando Eagle Drop Slingshot, for tampering with ride seats. And last month, a settlement agreement reached by the state and the ride's owner said they would pay a $250,000 fine and would agree to never again operate the drop tower in the state. We're not done here and we're not going to stop until everyone is held accountable and until we really make meaningful change in amusement park safety. Samson's family says they want to see a bill introduced by Florida Senator Geraldine Thompson become law. It would require surprise ride inspections, better documentation of ride modifications and new training procedures, among other things. We want to make rides safe everywhere, not just in Florida. The family says they want to expand ride safety legislation to the rest of the country as well. But for here at Icon Park, you can see the work is contained in the southwest corner of the park. Icon Park says the other attractions will remain open as that work continues. Reporting in Orlando, I'm Sabrina Majore, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.